our final segment <laughs> is an award show we've developed here on the Bituation Room called The Cringies. Uh, and we give out this award when there are some uh, a particular flurry of cringe in a given week. And this week there was a lot. So uh, without further ado, this is The Cringies. And the nominees for Cringies are <clears throat> Marjorie Taylor Greene in Gazpacho Gate. Not only do we have the D.C. jail, which is the D.C. gulag, but now we have Nancy Pelosi's Gazpacho police spying on members of Congress, spying on the legislative work that we do, spying on our staff, and spying on American citizens that we she really hit the hard gazpach. Like there was no, there wasn't even, anyway, we'll talk about all these nominees. The next, the next nominee for the cringies is uh, millionaire Dave Chappelle, uh, formerly a favorite comic of mine in front of the Yellow Springs city council, essentially threatening to pull any money that he's invested into the city. Uh, if they go ahead with an affordable housing unit or affordable housing plan for a new development. Hi, I'm Big Spell. <laughs> I just want to say, and Marianne, I could talk to you about this privately. Um, I don't know why the Village Council would be afraid of litigation from a $24 million a year company while they it's out a $65 million a year company. I cannot believe you would make me audition for you. You look like clowns. I am not bluffing. I will take it all off the table. That's all. Thank you. <sighs> Marianne, I could talk about this in private with you, girl, because I've got your number and I basically own the city council. They did, in fact, vote that development down. I'm sorry, not the development down. The development's moving forward. It's just going to be single family homes instead of multifamily units, um, i.e. the affordable part of it has been uh, nixed from it. So maybe he could do it better. I don't understand. I just want to know where are the people who are going to work in his future comedy club? Where are they going to live? Where do they live affordably? Um, and finally, for the cringies, Biden explaining American empire in a very brief little clip. And there is no way we were ever going to unite Ukraine. I mean, excuse me, Iraq. <laughs> Afghanistan. No way that was going to happen. <laughs> Judges, who gets your cringy for the week, Daya? I uh, think it's uh, Marjorie Taylor Cream because she got uh, uh, gulag correct because I thought she was going to say goulash, which is mm -hmm. another delicious food. So Marjorie... Uh, uh, Marjorie Taylor Green Beans is my vote. I love it. Goulash, which is a super stew of meat and vegetables seasoned with paprika, originally from Hungary. Yeah, why wouldn't you be consistent with your soups? If you're going to go for one soup, be consistent. Goulash? Also, it uh -huh. Larry David invented soup Nazi. I think the, gas the gazpacho police is stealing from Larry David. Oh, for sure. She should have credited that. I I, I have thoughts on gazpacho. My, my biggest problem with the gazpacho discussion is that people have been naysaying gazpacho, which I find delicious. I fucking love a good gazpacho. Uh, but there are a lot of people who are like, ew, I don't even like it. Like, It doesn't on like you. On a hot you. day in California, gazpacho is fantastic. Yeah, when who's naysaying gazpacho? Really I don't know. I've life. seen a lot of... Um, the the negative gazpacho discourse and i think yeah we need it we need to chime in and just defend it <laughs> with a little bit of garlic mm, just like ah uh max who gets your cringy uh you know um i was gonna go with uh with biden um but i think this discussion like for one like you know just as a jew i feel a little weird not giving it up uh to marjorie <laughs> taylor green uh for like you know misrepresenting the oppression of my people uh and also i uh now that i'm hearing people are bad mouthing gazpacho over this i do want to stand up for delicious tomato soups so <laughs> i am going to uh to give it to that one all right very good. I here's what I will say. 
the Chappelle video is insanely disappointing, but on brand with who he's become. I didn't really cringe, but I did. I, I did cringe. Marjorie Taylor Greens is just, you're so dumb. You're so stupid. You're a three-year-old. I, I am like amazed. I'm more than cringe. I'm amazed and amused and uh, taken aback. And then she leaned in and said it was, this was her kofefe moment. Like, sure, girl, sure. Um, just like, anyway, this, this, this bitch went to the Holocaust Museum to try and understand it after she, she she's like, oh, I learned a new word. Mm -hmm. Guess spot show. Yeah, that was a secret police. <laughs> Amazing to me. But the real cringe, the, the cringe, the cringiest, the like little chill up your spine for me is Biden forgetting which country that we've invaded or are like mobilizing troops in or are funding opposition. In. Like just just conflating everything with one another. And the guy's got a lot on his mind, but um it just goes to show we've been in way too many countries. And man, I hope we can avoid war in Ukraine. I think we will. What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.